Welcome to learn yourself. Try these sums from chapter number 3, page number 75. First question is toss a coin 100 times. So we have to toss a coin 100 times and record the data. Find the number of times heads and tails occur in it. So there are only two possibilities when you are tossing a coin. Either you will get head or you will get tail. So here I have made a table. In that I have noted down here the head and the second tail. And as I am tossing the coin, whatever observation I got it here, I have noted down it. So first try, I got head. So I have marked here this. Second, I got tail. So I have marked it like this. As and when I got a head, I am going to mark it like this. And when it is a fifth of like this. That means one tally marks is this group of tally marks are giving me five observations. That means five times head I got it. And similarly, I noted down all the observation over here. And number of times here I have written that is 43. This one group will give me five observations that five plus 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 three. So it is going to give me 43. Here similarly I got 57. You can write any combination of numbers here but only thing you have to take care that the addition of these two numbers has to be 100. It can be any possibilities, 20, 80, 30, 70 or any other two odd numbers. But addition of these two numbers have to be 100 because we are tossing a coin 100 times. And in front of that, you have to do a tally marking like this. Try these sums from chapter number 3, page number 75. Second question is, after threw a die 250 times and got the following table. So, in textbook, we have only this two table of content where this we have to add in there. When you are writing in your notebook, you have to make a table like this where you can write the counts also. And from where we are getting this counts, we are getting that count from tally marks. Here you can see that one group of this data will give us five counts. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus five, plus five and plus 3. So how many times 5s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 6 into 5 will give us 30, 30 and this 3. So that's why it is 33 counts. That is how we are going to count this tally marks. For the second observation, how many group of fives are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So here 8 into 5 are 40. Similarly, I have noted down all the counts for all these tally marks. And you have to make sure once you are counting this, you have to make sure that the addition of all this count should be 250. So once you are done with your counts, you have to check this answer that it should, it must come 250. Now, the next thing is draw a bar graph for this data. We have to draw a bar graph. So here we are going to draw a bar graph. These are the numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that this many number on the die has appeared. So one number on the dice has appeared 33 times. Number 2 has appeared on the dice 40 times and so on. So six number on the dice has appeared 40 times. We have to draw a bar graph. How are we going to draw a bar graph? These are the bar graph. So for that, we required a graph paper like this. This is my graph paper and it is 10 by 10. Now, what is the meaning of 10 by 10? As you can see this in this zooming image, you can see here how many columns are there. I have taken this dark green line. This one box, I am taking it here and I am showing you why it is a 10 by 10 graph paper sheet. If I am taking this one 
big square in which there are four small square you can see this in your graph right so let us see that over here so how many boxes are there horizontally so we are counting this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so horizontally they are 10 boxes vertically if you will count they are also 10 boxes so so this dark one green box contains 10 by 10 boxes that means 10 into 10 totally it is containing 100 boxes so when we are talking about this one green box that any one green box if you will take like this into your graph paper so this box contains 10 by 10 10 horizontally small boxes and 10 vertically small boxes so this one square contains 100 boxes so whenever you are counting number here there are possibilities that you can accommodate 10 counts here and you can accommodate 10 counts here but this graph will be very very small so that's why whatever scale we are taking here is depending upon our data so how you are going to choose your scale let us understand that so here we have data First, you have to find out that which one is the smallest number. So here 33 is the smallest number out of all these numbers and 52 is the biggest number. So our data and our graph requires smallest number 33 and it requires highest number 52. So our graph should not be very very big or very very small so here i am going to write and you can see that it has odd observation like 47 38 where we have to count three numbers after five so here i am going to write five then 10 15 20 55 so our graph will be completed here if you don't want such a big graph then you can take a scale of 10 so here you can start with 10 20 30 40 and 50 so within this small scale your graph will get over or you can take 5 or 10 here then 15 then 20 similarly you can take any scale here i have taken much larger scale so that i can show you here 33 is there first and here we are going to write the numbers. So here I am going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We are marking numbers only on this dark line. You can also mark number in between here also. If you have more data, you can mark, you can mark the numbers in between also. Let us take our first observation. So number 1 has come 33 times. So number 1, so on this line where the 33 will come that we are going to find out. So this is 30. Now in between 30 and 35 there are 20 boxes. So 4 lines for 1, then 4 lines for 2, 4 lines for 3. So here it is going to complete that this is going to be 33. So this is my observation that is 33. I am going to mark 5 lines horizontal and then I am going to join it with the scale over here. So here 2 lines towards this side and 2 lines towards this side and 2 lines towards this side. I will count it and I am going to join it. So this is my first observation that is 33 then number two number two is 40 so number two is 40 observation is going to come here then number three is 47 this is my 45 and 47 after two so to come here like this then 52 four number is appearing 52 times so this is 50 and 2 times more so here it is 52 then number 5 is appearing 38 times this is my 35 and after that i have to count three numbers so 38 is going to come here 
After that, number 6 is appearing 40 times. So here 40. Now, all of these observations, I am taking 5 lines, 5 columns horizontally like this. And then I am attaching them at the bottom on the x-axis. This is my x-axis and this is going to be my y-axis. So if I'll draw a bar graph like this for each and every observation after taking those points, then it, it will look something like this. And these are separate bars for each and every observation. Try this sums from chapter number 3, page number 75. And this is the third question of page number 75. It says that throw a die 100 times and record the data. Find the number of times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 occur. So 100 times we have to throw a die and we have to see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers, how many times it will appear. So these are some of the counts that when I threw my die, I, I got this counts that number 1, I got it 14 times, number 2, I got 7 times, number 3, I got 18 times, number 4, I got 23 times. 5 I got 8 times and number 6 I got 30 times and total 100 times I threw a dice. So here these are the tally marks. We know that how to write a tally marks. First we are writing 1, 2, 3, 4 observation like this and fifth observation we are crossing it out like this. So this is a bunch of 5 observation and that is how we are representing our data in tally marks. So these are my observation. You can write your own observation, but you have to make sure that total number of counts should be 100 and not more or less than that.